hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so my dear friends today i am with the another passing strategy video which is for the 2021 scheme students so it is the subject basic electrical engineering in which most of the students are struggling how to pass this particular subject it is subject code is 21 ELE 13 or 21 ELE 23 that is in the first semester or second semester you may have this particular subject and if you are the backlog students having backlog in this particular subject so fear not friends this video is for you in which i will discuss some important questions important passing strategy how to tackle this uh, particular subject over there so without wasting any time so let me start with the module first as it is considered as the passing module in this particular subject that is basic electrical engineering so my dear friends you have to focus on this content otherwise you uh, you don't have to leave any anything from this video you don't have to skip uh, so that i will just discuss a whole process how you can pass this particular subject over there so in the model first there are some important questions like uh, uh, what is the ohm's law and kirchhoff's law like right so in the ohm's law they may also give the limitations of the ohm's law so you have to focus on these two questions which are the super important questions in this uh, model first over here so ohm's law and kirchhoff's law and some definitions you have to cover like definitions of rms value peak factor and form factors these are the definitions part part over there and analysis of series parallel and series parallel series parallel circuits excited by independent voltage sources so numericals are on this uh, particular analysis of series parallel uh, right these are the simple uh, numericals were there okay so you have to focus on the numerical part also it is not possible uh, to pass this subject only by theory but you have to do some numerical problems in certain modules i will discuss it later on and uh, how many modules you have to tackle the numericals which are the simpler ones so in the model first there are simple numericals you should go through uh, this analysis of series and par parallel right and uh, uh, prove that the circuit efficiency during maximum power transform from the source to load is only 50 percent as you already know my dear friends the syllabus is vast uh, in this particular subject so i have taken some most super important questions in this uh, particular subject so this is another important question to that the circuit efficiency during maximum power transform from the source to load is only 50 percent and also show that the power consumed by a pure capacitor is zero when connected across ac supply this is again a super important question if we consider 2018 scheme it was always asked in the examination this question so definitely they will ask this time they can also ask this particular question power consumed by a pure capacitor is zero and find some questions are very simple in the or part over there if the sine wave uh, e is equal to 140 sine of 3 140 so you have to find out peak value frequency average value and rms value and time period instantaneous voltage so my dear friends if you are not uh, convenient with the problems also so just uh, memorize the formula so that you can write down the given data uh, and some uh, you can calculate uh, values were there so just memorize the formulas on this uh, peak value frequency average value like that so this much content is enough to cover the module first which is the passing module i am telling you this is the passing module and you have to cover this particular module if you want to pass this subject right then the module 5 which is also the passing module my dear friends it is a theoretical module in which you have to cover some important questions like what is earthing with a neat diagram explain pipe earthing and plate earthing sometimes they will give only pipe earthing and sometimes they will give plate earthing uh, okay so togetherly they cannot give it but you have to focus on these two parts pipe earthing and plate earthing and what is electrical shock give the list of preventive measures against the shock this is again an important question and with a single line diagram explain the power trans transmission and distribution uh, as i may tell you here uh, there is a vast syllabus also in the module fifth a lot of uh, contents in uh, which contains this module over there so i have taken uh, the important questions and you have to go through it otherwise you don't have to leave the uh, this particular content so that it will be difficult for you people if you just leave anything from this module over here so write a short note on a right and and write applications advantages disadvantages for these particular topics over here that is mcb miniature circuit breaker fuse and rccb that is residual current circuit breaker these three are the important they may uh, also tell in the another way that write down the diagram for this particular residual current circuit breaker right okay so next is define traffic and explain two-part traffic with 
its advantages and disadvantages another one is definition of unit used for consumption of electrical energy if you just cover this much theory from this module it will be easy for you people to cover at least uh, 10 to 12 marks from this particular module also uh, if you just go fully in this module uh, so that you will get 20 marks also in this particular module sometimes they are giving numericals from this also but a uh, lot of theory uh, this module contains over there 20 marks uh, theory will be also there if you just focus on these theory concepts you will get 20 marks with ease over there then uh, i will come to the module that is the module 3 over here module 3 is also a simpler one if you just go through this uh, with the help of a need diagram explain the construction of dc generator relation between induced emf and uh, terminal voltage right and uh, emf equation for generator and types of generator right with usual notations derive the torque equation of a dc motor what is back emf and with the help of need diagram explain construction and working principle of transformer over there and with uh, usual notations derive emf equation of a transformer and losses in transformers variation of losses with respect to load efficiency and condition for maximum efficiency so these are the theory concepts which you have to cover in the module third if you are convenient with the problems just try to find out the simpler problems so that you will uh, cover the numerical part also if in the examination there comes the difficult problem at least you can write the given data in the examination over there so this much content is enough for the module third then I will come up uh, on the next module that is module second now so analysis of RL and RC RLC series and parallel circuits over there so uh, sometimes they are giving a develop an equation for the power consumed by RL series circuit draw the wave of uh, waveform of voltage current and power so sometimes they will also, also give you the rl series over there uh, sorry rc series over there and these are the three which you have to focus on which you have to ponder over there and try some numericals on this part that is rl rc and rlc series and parallel circuits over there then show show that only two watt meters are sufficient to measure power in a three phase balanced star connected circuit with the help of neat circuit diagram and phasor diagram or sometimes they may also give you in another form like measurement of three phase power by two watt meter method it is a super important question in this particular module my dear friends so go through this question deduce the relationship between the line and phase values of voltage and current of a three phase star connected system and uh, uh, some problems may be given on the circuit series circuits so you have to find out the impedance current power factor power voltage drop across rc and uh, draw phasor diagram if possible so go through numericals otherwise just focus on the numerical uh, sorry theoretical part over there as you are the backlog student it is very difficult for backlog students to cover all the portions so that i have taken some important questions over here otherwise the syllabus is vast i am telling you again my dear friend syllabus is very vast in this particular subject over there then module 4 comes up in which you have to cover some theoretical concepts like with relevant diagram explain the construction of three phase induction motor define slip of a three phase induction motor and derive the relationship between supply frequency and rotor current frequency right then derive an AMF equation of synchronous generator, explain the construction and principle and also significance of winding factor sometimes they will give. And problems on slip and significance of slip and uh, also applications of the slip you have to focus on over there. And also rotating field if you just go through uh, the magnetic field in this particular chapter. So just have a brief uh, output of the particular field over there. So focus on that uh, particular topic also. If you just want to cover uh, theory, you have to focus on the theory, theory part more than numericals just because a lot of numericals are tough also in this particular subject. So, but you cannot leave simultaneously the numericals over there. Some uh, numericals you have to sort out from the previous uh, model question papers. You just go through and try some problems so that it will become easy for you people to conquer this particular subject. Thank you for watching my video.